true guys a story time i did off epic because he tried to rip me off guys the man they tried to rip me off of my money <laughs> channel you know your girl is back again with another bomb video you know so as you can tell by the title of that video yeah, it's like an epic why it's like an epic because we're gonna have a particular story time with that video yeah, we're stronger than a palm tree yeah why i'm gonna tell you that you don't have to stay tuned for it yeah you're gonna catch me up in a ponytail the real jamaican quickest way and how to catch your ear up in a ponytail but first guys i'm gonna wash my ear i'm gonna blow it out i'm gonna flat iron it i'm gonna show you everything from start to finish you understand so if you don't want to see all of them wonderful something in another video be sure to do a like comment share the link with a friend and tell another friend about my channel be sure to follow me over there on facebook and snapchat i'm gonna put the whole of them right up here so so without further ado guys we're gonna get right up into uh, the video yeah eh 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 guys me reach in my bathroom and all of that so right now what me gonna do me gonna wash my ear like me tell them to say and take and do all of this good good jazz and all of that and when we're done we get back to you guys let me say stay tuned for the story time like i got an epic real real epic you know i saw one with me i saw one in real life you know and then a joke joke thing a real real thing and it also going to give you guys an heads up and all of them something there. so let me just go wash my ear and be right Mommy, and be right Hey Bye. guys, I'm just about to shower and all of these things. You wash my ear like I tell you what I'm going to do. So the next section of the video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to blow up my ear and then I'm going to get into the other part of flat ironing my ear. I'm not going to do much of a talking in that one. I'm just more than just blow up and flat iron. And then when I'm going to show all of that right here. And I don't know, I'm going to blow up my ear. You're only going to need your blow dryer. You're going to need a nice a white tea comb them call it in a jamaica big tea <laughs> these two things so i'm gonna blow up my ear and show you guys i'm gonna kind of mute it i'm gonna want to make a bag of eyes so let me just go in and look for blowing type thing here so let's go guys i'm back and my finish flat iron my finish finish blow drying my hair so right now guys i'm going to flat iron my hair i'm like a show you no know, from start to finish all my flat iron my hair right so first up me i gonna use a tail comb so i can part section my hair in a half because this is how i flat iron my hair just to make sure everything flat iron nice and sleek so i'm gonna go part my hair Right, so make a section it in a half. It don't have to be perfect. I'm showing how to go. How to do it. You don't need to be perfect, guys. Just part it all the way down, like so. I'm gonna show you. Right, so you use the comb and you kind of brush out the section that you part. Right, you can go back in if you are a perfectionist like myself. What I'm say, it don't need to be perfect. All you have to do is just section it out. So this is what I do. And in this procedure, you're gonna need a scringy sweep. Get here. But this procedure, you're gonna need a scringy, and this is what it looks like a scringy, right? And you're gonna section it out like so. Let me say, it need to be perfect, right? Yeah. This is my flat iron, by the way. You're gonna need your flat iron. Right, so what I do, it's pretty much on 400, right? For degrees Fahrenheit, I'm not want that. I want to bring it down a little bit. I don't want to scratch my ears. So I think I'm going to bring it down to 365. That's what I'm going to bring it down. So I'm going to allow it for hot a bit. I'm going to kind of section my ears. So I'm going to turn around and show you this. So, you're going to need a scringy, another scringy. You're going to need um tail comb. 
right kaya have to make sure say a section hey guys as you can see what i was saying right here is that you know i'm sectioning my hair in two parts yes yeah, you can see that and i'm just going to flat iron it like in single partings all the way upwards right so that i need for do use the flat iron sometimes i would just stick the comb in and comb while i'm flat ironing the hair so that's a very good method right of achieving a bone straight finish and that's exactly what i'm doing yeah guys so let me say i think we come out with some vlogs right incorporated with my in my um incorporated in my t makeup tutorial and so forth right so yeah girl one kind of change up things a bit but kind of keep it in the niche that i'm working with so yeah flatten it out but as i show no over again oh my god about doing it right it's very easy the method here i've been doing it for years now and this is how i flatten my hair and it always flatter and nice you would have swear i went to a hairdresser to get it done but I did it, right? So, yeah. May I show you how it go? And all of them something. But may I show you, so guys, I'm just going to do the rest of that section and get right back with you guys. So, right here, so I'm showing you what I use. is a very good flat iron and all of that. So, may I show you on one side of the hair how it's look. How it's looking when I'm finished flat iron the hair and one side when it's not right so yeah girl flat iron go on with itself and all of that something be sure guys to like the video subscribe to share the link with your friend tell another friend about the channel because we are going with our crocus bugger things and all of that stuff so what i'm gonna do i'm saying in this video is that i'm gonna show you guys when i'm finished as I, as you can see it's finished flat iron and all um, something something there yeah i'm running the comb through it just to show you guys how nice and sleek it is yeah that's something they always flat in your hair and these things so now i'm going to show you all the products that i've used it is the gots to be spray the pink the pink lotion pink lotion is not a must have but you know you need the gots to be glue spray as well as the gel to achieve this finish so right now we're approaching that section of getting the hair all the way in a ponytail so in this section you're going to need to section your hair in three parts one at the back which is the main section where i'm going to lay the ponytail and you're going to need three you're going to need two at the front right for that procedure i'm just going to show you how it's been done you don't need to part the hair perfect it just needs to be sectioned in two what i'm going to do is the two that i section at the top i'm just going to part it small in small portion and just comb it or brush it backwards into that laid a ponytail at the back so that's what i'm doing right so very easy method guys yeah you yeah, will be able to catch it real quick and easy right so when i do that i usually go in with my guts to be spray and i sprayed it on top of it just for that extra hold yeah that's are my method then after that i'm going and brush along the hair going with my eco gel like i said the eco gel is the bomb in this tutorial right so going with the eco gel not much just want to paste the hair, making sure that everything is laid and slayed. So yeah, going with it and just apply it on that section, right? You want to do that with your with your hand, with your fingers, making sure that everything goes in, right? So you want once you apply that, now you want to go in with the comb to ensure that everything is in the right direction. But you're gonna have to loose up the ear, guys, because when you loose it up, you're gonna um lay down the hair in in such in a in a way, right? Go in with your soft brush. For in this tutorial, guys, you want to go in with your soft brush. You want a, a rough brush as well as a soft brush because the soft brush will help to get the hair laid and slayed. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, now we're going on the next section of this video. So, yeah. Guys, I hmm. have a look at story time for telling. That one is epic. I couldn't wait for it to be able to tell you about that one. Yeah. That one is epic. I say the fraud people them out there with the biggest phone company where you ever find in a Jamaica. But I couldn't wait for telling about that one. That one is normal. That one is strong. No, I'm one giving a heads up, guys. It's good. 
of what happened to me yesterday so by the time the video I get to the guys it might be like a day after right yeah because why I'm of a kind of like get into the video and make sure it's my put in a party I got someone I'm to me and it epic guy you know yesterday um my phone got destroyed right it fell and the screen broke up and then, as you guys know me use my phone for record right but also use my phone for record and all of them so many so you know say so i go up on the road guys and my husband decides to him go um purchase a new phone for me so before me went on the road on the road a day before that guys me and him did it and him asked me the type of phone that mama want right and he was giving me various different types of options right and so we decided to get me a phone that is an up-to-dated 2022 phone, right? I don't know if you know, Samsung Galaxy is my favorite brand when it comes down to phone company, a Samsung Galaxy brand, I might think. Probably in the future, we think we get a, a iPhone, I'm not really sure. But right now, Samsung Galaxy, I might think. Yeah, I was telling guys, I'm on the road. Fix myself. But they on the road now, we decide on the type of phone number one, get to the price, we did my research and all of that. Yeah, before we go up on the road, we do my research, we made a couple of calls to find out which location, which branch phone company, Mega can be able to get the phone. So we come across a couple of phone company in Kingston, and we say, yeah, we're going to go to Kingston. So you know what we say, yesterday we we'll get up now and go to Kingston, when we call the place and all of that, we jot down the, 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 the addresses of the different phone company and we'll go. You know, so guys, we'll go now and we'll go to the first store that at the store we will call. Them said them they have them have the um the phone and we'll go in at the phone phone place and we'll get here from the show guys. Them sell the phone. A person came into the store and them sell the few phones them or them have, them sell them out because we did too late. So we never get that. When I send out no cause they know say first come first serve. So when I send out no, go there now and we're going to another store. And we see that them the people them when we're going to another store, the people them say them have the store the um them have the phone, but guess what? It was a lot more pricey than what we did expect. Anyways, now when we go in at the store, um, we decide so we're gonna check our own first before we go back to that store. Day. So we see an, a phone store, we never call them play, that place there, that place wasn't on the internet, but we still go and we check it out. When we check it out, now guys, they said I have the phone, but guess what, guys, we know the phone look like you know, but when it comes down to the box, we never did I take note about that before we check it before we go and purchase it. Right, I'm going to the store now. I notice some little skeptic thing about the person, right? And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sell us the phone. And I'm going to tell us that the phone they don't come with a charger plug. Guys, them phone, anytime when you purchase a phone, guys, it's supposed to come with everything. The only thing it might not come with, with is a memory card. It might not come with a memory card, but it's supposed to come with a charger. It's supposed to come with the phone book. It's supposed to come with the thing, right? It's supposed to come with the things that we're supposed to, with the fact you're putting out of the phone box, it's supposed to come with it. When my go sub and my ask about it, him say, them phone they don't come with a charger plug. Anyways, now, because me well want the phone, me end up you know, purchase the phone. Whenever I leave the area, whenever I leave the location, I decide to so did one mindset to me say, before I get there, one mindset to me say, purchase our um, screen protector and also a phone screen. I ask them about it, they say that they don't have that. They don't have a screen protector nor a phone case. I didn't say nothing. But my husband, he was a bit skeptical, you know. He was a skeptical when he realized about the, the charger part. But excuse that now, go cross the road. Oh, we'll go across the road now. So me, I try to check out the phone case as well as the screen protector because when you purchase a phone, guys, you want to make sure say so you get a screen protector, especially if it's so expensive. You want to get a screen protector. You want to be sure that you get a case. So I'm gonna go across the road and I ask. The, that was the the store that I went to before I, I went to that store that I purchased the phone from, right? And when the phone person said to me. How much they purchased that phone for? I'ma tell him, guys. 
there goes the bad news. I get to understand that it was not the original phone from Samsung Galaxy. It was not from Samsung company. So you know, say so guys, we, me and my husband stood up there and we were extremely shocked because we never expect that. So when he told us and he showed us the real phone, right? He showed us how the phone is supposed to look, right? And when he showed it to us, we get to realize that it wasn't the original phone, right? He tell us to not tell the person that he told us all of that information. He shows us the serial number and all of that. He shows us on the, on the fake phone that the person sent us that it did not have any of that, right? But it is an imitation of the actual phone. Now, guys, we are giving our heads up on this one. When you're purchasing a phone, make sure so you do all of the research then. Make sure you check all the serial number where the, support, the phone's supposed to come with. Make sure you say it have everything in the box, right? Because that's something when me got you and me telling about that one day. So when we got so bomb, we were so angry. Let me say guys, we were so angry. And we decided say we are gonna bring back the phone. I'm gonna bring up that phone. Yeah, guys. That one is epic. I want to see. Oh, I said the phone. Is. So we we'll bring back the phone, guys. We decide say, you know what? I'm gonna make my husband go. Me now go. Can my kids them for my kids them so I go on. So I decide to stay somewhere on the road and occupy my kids them time and decide say, me now go go. So my husband went over there now and you had to talk and talk and talk and talk because them people they don't want to give back people their money. So my husband decided say, you know what? I'm going to take this to the law. And the amount of money where you have to pay when I don't sue you are more than how much money where you take from it for the fake phone. This ending up the that's he giving back the money, right? And all of that. So we went to a different store and we purchased the original phone. Now, guys, this is a heads up. For sure, you said people like the, the person is a wicked person. You know? He did not say anything more than he was just trying to get our money. Now, be careful of these type of phone people here in Jamaica, guys. Make sure you so not purchase on the phone. I want to get exactly what I want to purchase. Yeah. Do no research and all of that. Right? And make sure you so want to get everything in our box. And at that, me went through, guys. A story time I did off epic because he tried to rip me off, guys. The Monday tried to rip me off of my money money for a fake phone this is something else me are telling us say in a jamaica you don't have to be careful right so that me did really want for telling us if you know one for telling no more story time and all the other stuff them look out for some more story time when me are come with guys because it's like an epic real real epic round here and that data go on from my channel hey guys more get back in the other section of this video and share on share with you know how i finish up my ear and i'll look something 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 there and i've got something 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 there yeah when we said a channel is epic when we come out with some goodies or some tutorials that me say my channel is about lifestyle beauty as well as vlog makeup tutorial as well as story time so we will come out because i have a lot of story time to share with you know, guys i'm excited yeah plus me get my new device and love it i even use for a card and them so there so without further ado let's go to the other section of this video okay guys what me i'm gonna do now i'm gonna section my ear like so section it down
it over like so but I'm gonna get rid of some of them here I'm brush it down see this sleep look brush it down like so So go in with this brush and they're gonna brush it like so show on the side. I usually go back in with the with the CM gel. We are going with the soft brush here. I'm gonna just make sure so everything is smooth as possible. It's gonna go in and I'm a section here. Right, I'm going to section it out like so. Here, then make sure we section them out a bit. Just... And then usually we go so party as I like so. Like me said, the partings them don't have to be perfect. You just have to just comb them into the gel that you already put there. This is why we put extra gel. It down and then what I do I part it again right go down because when I put a style we just catch it up like if you're in on a, on a rush so yeah and some of the look thing so guys remember you know me I come with the story time and something because I got a lot of story time to tell y'all guys what the story time so remember come on baby hear them first get the baby them Baby ear them out of the way. <laughs> get the baby ear them out of the way. So this is the last part of it. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna just brush it in like so. Brush here like so. Nothing too extra and hard. So yeah. Brush it down with a comb first. You have to make sure you brush it down with a comb first. Let me show on the back. And now we're gonna pull it out again just to make sure that everything sleek. Going with the gel, I will put some gel right as so to get it that sleek look. I'm not using it, yeah, guys. I'm not even using a mirror, but I trust that I'm getting it right this time. So, yeah, what we're doing, we're comb it down first. Making sure everything comb right out with the comb go down to the end. Then we are going with that comb with a brush here, and we are gonna make sure so everything softly polished. And I so we do it. Right, I'll be doing my own all of it. I so we do it in Jamaica. <laughs> well, me do it in Jamaica. I'm gonna go in back with my. Um, tail comb, I'm gonna kind of brush out them part. I got a them part. I got to look at the baby here for me, so I'm gonna brush out them part. Yeah. And then I'm gonna brush out the part yeah, too. So that's really my baby here. Awesome. So I'm gonna say 
when I go so now I lightly use the comb and I lightly use the comb I use the back of the comb now to create that smooth finish you understand what I'm saying? so yeah that smooth finish I use the back of the comb and I kind of bring it down I'm gonna bring it down bring it down like so all right so make sure so everything stays balanced comb at this down so So yeah, this is on the way. I mean, we've got the back of the comb. The back of the comb is to ensure that the ear smooth and sleek right back. Me just show on my ear, yeah? oh, my my ponytail. And no people are ask me, so me I need to make everybody see how oh, I do my ponytail, right? So yeah, no special add. I just so I'm a comb out this baby ear right here, so. All right, so for me now, because I want that extra cool, and when I do my ponytail like this, guys, it usually lasts long. When I like, when I do my ponytail like this, it lasts a long, long time, right? So I go into here. Going, yeah, get used to the camera there. Now, yeah, going with my guts to be spray, shake it up first and then spray. So, okay, guys, right now, what me gonna do, me gonna put, me gonna blow my ear pan and warm. You have to make sure you set it on warm, not put it on high, right? Just to dry the ear, right? So, me I kind of mute this and show you how I do it. Alright guys, right now we are going at the most interesting part of it. Yeah, the interesting part of it. Yeah, let me show you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So this is how I actually get my ear up in this nice little fluffy ear. Fluffy pony ear, ponytail ear. So guys, if you don't know anybody where sell ponytail ears, here please be sure to comment that in the comment box and also you can or you can message me over there on facebook i can put all of them something up on the screen so right now it comes with a comb right it comes with two combs by the way one at the top and one at the bottom right here as you can see for this procedure you're gonna need two ear pins right them call them the bobby pins ear pins you're gonna need two of these so as I can see, I'm showing you, turn around, showing you my dress for so. As I so okay guys right now in this procedure make sure point this out in guys you want to have at least two bobby pins like i said depending on the type of ponytail here that you're working with right you want to go in with that amount of um bobby pins but because i'm using this type of ponytail here i only need two bobby pins right so yeah you need one at the back and one at the front to remind you guys this um ponytail comes with two combs one at the top and one at the bottom for extra security right you want to make sure that you stick those comb in before you drag the string that comes along with it yeah and once it's reached to that end you want to go in with one of the bobby pins and you want to stick it in right ensure that the, the hair the ponytail here does not move right so yeah Usually when I when I do this type of method, my you don't know my ponytail lasts for a long time. I'm not lying to you guys. It lasts for a very long time. So yeah guys, I'm thinking to drop to, to drop content as frequent as I can. I'm still working on it guys. But yeah, I I'm supposed to drop this content like two days ago, right? And I've been having some problems. I uploaded for some persons I've already seen that I've uploaded. But yeah, be sure to follow your girl on all them social media platforms. Yeah, Instagram, Facebook, um, Snapchat. Yeah, be sure to follow your girl and all these type of things. So yeah, think you to come up with more content and being as transparent, transparent as 
possible here on my channel yeah show you guys every little hint of stuff that i'm doing and all of that so i'm going in with my baby here right now and i'm using the eco gel now guys you can go in with whatever gel of your choice but i like to use the eco gel to achieve my baby hair in no special way but that's just my preference but you can work with whatever gel of your choice and all of that like i always say i'm no professional when it comes on to the baby hair slash soups i'm just that type of person that likes to finesse when it comes on to my hair until it reached to my level of likings and that's what i work with sometimes this thing this procedure takes a while for me because you know i'm making sure that it is being done in an in the neatest way that i would like it right but i must say you don't have to kill yourself to achieve this i'm just showing you how i go about doing my ponytail and how i go about doing my baby hair slash soup so yeah that's how it is um so right now i'm just playing with the hair and taking my time approaching that section of the baby hair then i'm gonna brush it out because i want to make sure that it is laid the whole process is making sure that it is neat and laid and that is when we said it is um slayed because it is flat and you want to make sure that you're flat iron your hair before you go into the procedure or to the section. You want to flat iron your hair to achieve that sleek finish. And yeah, as you can see, I'm playing with it. And that is what you want to do if you're a beginner. You don't have to pretty much try to make it perfect. But just keep work with it until it reaches to wherever you would want it, right? Just keep working with it. And that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Girl, I come out with a bang them because I know you guys um are asking for some of these um these contents. I'm gonna just bring them out to you. Some of my person, some of my part, some of my um some of you guys ask me over there on Facebook how did I get my hair that way or if I'm wearing a wig. No guys, this is my natural hair that I catch up into a ponytail but first me show no how me go about doing it i usually flatten my hair first and all of that everything that you're seeing here in this tutorial that's how i go about doing it right so sometimes i would just do my hair like a day before if i have to go on the road and i want to go in with my ponytail this is how i go about doing it right and when you tie it down it is a lot more flat so yeah your girl let's show you I'm going in and do it and we keep I'm keep finessing. I'm not finished with it yet. I'm keep finessing it until it's there. So I'm gonna show you guys where I actually achieve that soups slash soup slash um baby hair. So yeah, I'm just playing with it. Right here, guys, I'm seeing where I like how it's turning out. So now yeah, me I catch it, me I catch it right. And this is how I go about doing it. If you're not a professional, you want to practice when it comes on to your baby hair slash soups. Practice. It's not going to make you perfect, but it's going to make you a lot much better when it comes on to that. Right? You're going to improve and adapt. We are, that we are talking about. Improvement is the key. Right? So, yeah. As you can see, I'm using my hand to just keep on making sure that the hair is flat. And all of that, I'm checking to see if everything is laid that way. Oh, I would like it. Yeah, so, mm hmm girl, I think for come up with the things then. And this is what we're working with, right? Some of the times, persons ask me questions over there on my Facebook page. And I would just come on my YouTube channel and showcase it to you guys. So not just some of my followers um, on social media platforms, um see what i'm doing i'm like to show you show you guys over there on youtube as well so after i achieve all of that i'm going with my um with my blow dryer on warm you want to make sure that when you're doing this the blow dryer is on warm not not hot 
because they don't want to mess up the hair. So, girl, happy now and she enjoy herself because I like, oh, like how it turn out. So, I'm showing all of the products that I use in this tutorial today. Like I said, it got to be spray as well as the eco gel and two brushes. One rough and one is a soft brush as well as, well as my ponytail here. So, guys, stay tuned for the other section of this video where I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you about the story time of what really happened. Right? Because, yeah, guys, it's also going to give you an heads up out there especially those who are here in jamaica and all of these things you wanna keep your eyes open for these things so yeah let's go and i'll put all of my instagram names right here as well as my facebook and my snapchat yeah follow your girl you know what i'm saying I'm say for no one more for telling no more story time and all the other stuff them look out for some more story time when me i come with guys because it's like an epic Real, real epic round here, and at that, I go on for my channel. Yeah, so this is the end of this amazing video. Yeah, this is the end of this amazing video. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like the video, subscribe, share the link with your friend, and tell another friend. Follow me over there on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. I'm gonna put all of the link, them, and the name, and all of that. And follow me. Yeah, subscribe, click the bell. Yeah, and this is the end. And I'm Getting out of here. So until then, guys, may you have a blessed day. Joy, happiness, peace, joy, and happiness.